Good morning. We're so glad you're here at Westgate. If you are visiting, please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby to pick up a special welcome gift. Our service will be comprised of congregational singing, Bible reading, prayer, a sermon, and the focal point of our gathering, communion, which is a time we remember the sacrifice Jesus made for our sins by using juice and bread to symbolize the blood and body of Christ. Be sure to scan the QR code on the inside cover of the bulletin for connection cards and to find other pertinent information about Westgate. It is a great day to worship our God, and we are so glad you are here. Our annual 40 Days of Prayer that leads us into Easter is underway. Prayer guides are available on the information wall in the foyer. In addition to our 40 Days of Prayer, our children's ministry will have their annual Easter egg hunt on Saturday, April 1st. On Thursday, April 6th, we will have a special service known as The Watch at 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. This will take the place of our Wednesday night gathering that week. On Friday, April 7th, we will have the Stations of the Cross in the auditorium from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. that day for a special come-and-go devotional exercise focused on the events in Jesus' life during the week leading up to His death. On Easter Sunday, we will have one service together at 9 a.m. in front of the crosses with a casual breakfast beforehand beginning at 8 a.m. May God bless us as we celebrate the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you would like to be a part of our usher ministry on Sunday mornings, please contact Ken Hopkins or the church office. Also, please remember we're asking all members to pick up their bulletins from the bulletin bins so our greeters can focus their attention on welcoming our visitors. All members are asked to pick up a WCC sticker and place it in your front driver's side windshield. This helps our street greeters be able to quickly identify visitors and direct them where they need to go. Decals are available at the information wall. Also, please do not park in the visitor parking spaces around the campus. We want to keep these open for our guests. Neelot's Properties submitted their property deed of sale to the New York City Hall around Thanksgiving of 2008. The deed was signed and notarized and the city's clerks forwarded along the paperwork. In under two hours, the transaction was completed, but within 24 hours, the seller returned the property. Neelot's Properties turned out to be a fake corporation created by the New York Daily News to make a point about the ease of fraudulent property transactions. The property they purchased, however, was in fact very real, the Empire State Building. First Chronicles says, Seek the Lord in His strength. Seek His presence continually. Like city clerks, we can sometimes become oblivious to what we're doing or what is going on around us. Life can often be that way as well. We get so involved with our normal routine of work, school, and activities that there are weeks planned before they even begin, and our time with God becomes an afterthought or something we fit in where we can. Be intentional with your time. Don't merely float through life until one day you look back and wonder where the time went. Instead, spend your time with purpose, and more importantly, in ways that honor God. Let's worship God together.